Hello guys, today I will show you how you can create this gun game. When I kill a player, I get the next gun. And also on the top left, you see how many guns I have left. This system is very easy to set up. And there are multiple options that I will show you through this video. And I kill another person now, you will see that the um, game will end. And the next round will start. And in the next round you will get the first gun. There are also some useful options in the game manager. We have an option shuffle weapons. Uh, that will randomize the weapons you will get. And also you have the option to toggle the end game conditions off. Now I'm gonna show you how you can create this. Let's make a new project. When the project is created, create the first file. Like this. Now I'm gonna paste the code from our Discord server. And you can find the link in the description. You can also type this code over. And to give a small explanation, here we have an array of the item granders. We have an option shuffle weapons. That's just a logic, it's between false or true. We have a tracker device to show how many kills you made and also to give the right gun each time. We have a text that we can change in the game manager. We also have another logic, the end game condition. And then the end game device that I will set on round end. So each time this device is triggered, the round will end and a new one will start. Then we have a part that is making the message for the tracker. We have a game setup, get all the players. We have a uh, function on player eliminated. So each time a player is eliminated, next weapon will be triggered. This function here will give you a random gun if you toggled shuffle weapons on or will give you the next gun in the list if you turn that off. Then we also have a setup player and that one is um, triggered in the game start. This is just to get all the players and give them the visual tracker. Uh, put them in an array that you find over here. So that's a small explanation of the code. Now we can simply build the first code. And we can drag the creative device inside our world. Now you see we have an array of the weapons. So we're gonna get some item granders. Let's say we do three for now. Can simply use the color picker to select the right device. Uh, you can choose between these options. Um, I will choose for now clear inventory, and I also will get one item. So that's why I'm uh, putting it on current item. If you have multiple items, set it on all items. I will choose three different guns. Like this. You can yeah, decide if you want to shuffle the weapons or not. Now we need to add the tracker. We set that one to target value 0, put it on eliminations. And also you can show the progress and show it on HUD. Uh, and if you don't like this, you can put that off. Also, if you want to change the icon of the tracker, you can do this over here. And decide if you want to have a small or a, or a large icon. Now we need to add an end game device. It 
in this device you need to choose between end game or end round. Uh, so if you have multiple rounds, put it on this. If you have one major game, put it on end game. So that's it. Now we just need to connect this to the game manager. Okay, so that's it. We also made a video on how to make a gun game in Creative 1.0, but this system is so much easier. Um, yeah, I hope you like it. If you have any questions about this system, send us a DM on Discord. See you. Bye.